We are live at Alumni Field Corral Memorial Stadium for the 2022 regular season home opener as the Jesuit Tigers meet the visiting Treasure Coast Titans. Good evening, everyone. I am John Pedrero from the class of 1981. Welcome to Jesuit Tiger Football. A little bit of a late start here, as you can imagine. Uh, Rain, lightning, I'm sure a lot of games in Hillsborough County uh, ran into the same uh, issues here. So uh, a late start, but uh, it's still raining, but no lightning. That's the key right there. So we're going to have a, uh, a wet football game, but a football game nonetheless. Jesuit coming off of a road win to open the season, 23-14 to at Warden. That's a good road win for the Tigers over a... Uh, very tough Wharton team coached by uh, former NFL first round pick Mike Williams Tigers did not have to throw the ball much Luke Knight only threw six passes but completed five of them for 137 yards and two touchdowns one going to Willie Suarez the other going to Jarrett Bowie but it was the Joe Smith show 27 rushes, 185 yards, and a score for the Temple Bound running back. Solid uh, way to start the season for Joe Smith on, def on the defensive side of the ball. Peter Pazanski, my goodness, he was in the backfield the entire game. A disruptive force against the run and against the pass. He had four sacks and three hurries in the uh, game one and if that's a sign of things to come it's going to be an incredible season for the 272 pound junior in Peter Pazanski. Cyrus Abood had seven solo tackles and Holden Roberts Holton Roberts excuse me um, with five solo tackles six assists for 11 total tackles to lead the Tigers the captains are taking the field right now for Jesuit. Number 67, Wesley Shaw. Great to have him back. Number 50, Caden Fluker. Number 8, Jarrett Bowie. And number 1, Andre Gilbert. He had an interception last week along with uh, Troy Bowles. So Nature Coast, and we'll tell you right off the bat, their uniform numbers are a little bit challenging to read with this uh with the dark gray and the dark gray numbers with gold trim, light gold trim. So we'll do our best to get these numbers right. Do not know who the captains are for uh, Treasure Coast. The Titans are 0-1. They went on the road last week and lost at Kissimmee Osceola 14-5. Nothing statistical to report on that game. Their head coach is uh, Irwin Jones, but uh, quite a season last year. So it looks like I think Treasure Coast may have won the toss and deferred, I believe. So let's see here. So Jesuits receiving, and they will be headed toward the south end zone. But it was a 10-2 season for Treasure Coast last year in 2021. What a start to the season they had. They went down to American Heritage and won 29-21. And they ultimately made it to the then class state finals in 8A where Apopka beat them 21-0. So Father Hermes is out in the field for the opening prayer. Then we're going to have the playing of the national anthem. So here's Father Hermes.
All right, so the playing of the national anthem. So going back to Treasure Coast, uh, last season their mode was just a power running game. They had a back, now graduated, Eden James rushed for 2,021 yards and 28 touchdowns. Those are, uh, those are Joe Smith numbers right there. And the Titans last season averaged 328 yards rushing per game. But uh, definitely took some graduation hits in the uh, offensive side of the ball. And uh, are looking for their first touchdown of the season. So a field goal and a safety at Osceola last week. That's always a tough place to play, Kissimmee Osceola. So Jesuit receiving Andre Gilbert, the senior. It is back deep along with the sophomore transfer, Justin Thurman, number two. And we'll do our best in reading these uh, Treasure Coast numbers. Kickoff is short. It's going to be Thurman at the 12. Thurman cuts right. He's got some good speed, and he is tackled at about the 26-yard line. So Thurman's a 4-4 guy. We'll be seeing a lot more of him uh, over the next couple of seasons. Key thing in this weather is hold on to the ball. I mean, turnovers or lack thereof is going to play a big part in this game. So it's Joe Smith next to the quarterback, Luke Knight. Trips left. Three down lineman for Treasure Coast. Knight, he bobbles the snap, goes forward, makes something out of nothing. And uh, this run by Luke Knight had the awareness to uh, pull it down. Got himself seven yards on a busted play. So first play of the game, the wet ball having an effect. Gary Givens going wide right to the short side. Gabe Themar's in at full back. Here's Joe Smith. And he doesn't get far. So Joe Smith got back to the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a yard. So it's going to be third and four Jesuit from their own 34. Titan defense converged quickly that time on Joe Smith. So Givens goes to the right. Jarrett Bowie and Willie Suarez to the left. Kind of a tight formation here for the Tigers. Knight shotgun, Joe Smith next to him. Man in motion, and they give it to Smith on a counter play, and Joe Smith's going to be shy of the first down. Tigers fake the fly sweep, countered left, and Joe Smith is about a yard short, and the Tigers are going to keep the offense out in the field from their own, just past their own 35-yard line. Jesuit confident with Joe Smith in the backfield. Titans eight men in the box. Might be trying to draw. Treasure Coast offside with the hard count. Jesuit calls timeout. Early timeout for Jesuit. They want to talk about this. Gutsy call this early going for it. Going for it. But uh, Matt Thompson has never been one to be afraid of uh, rolling the dice up, and they're going to kick it. So Knight's going to punt it. So Bowie and Gilbert 
are the ends. Good snap. High kick by Knight. Oh, and it's fumbled. Still a loose ball. And Treasure Coast got it. So the wet ball all already having effects here. Treasure Coast takes over at their own 38-yard line. Quarterback for Treasure Coast. Again, these numbers are a little bit of a challenge here. So they're in a tight formation. So this is a running formation here. Quarterback keeper for a couple of yards. I think the quarterback is eight. So Andre Morris on that tackle. Gain of three. Shotgun formation this time. It's David Palmero number one is the quarterback. Do an end around play and shy of the first down. Initial contact on that was number 22 for Jesuit. That's Cyrus Abood. And Treasure Coast is facing a third down and about one. So it's Palmero. I think that's eight next to him. That's Taj Peterson. Seven, excuse me. It's a first down. Drew Wood as on the tackle. That was seven. Imonte Brown. He picks up a first. Into Jesuit territory at the 48-yard line. Titans spread it out a little bit here. Two wideouts right. Shotgun formation. And this is going to be a neutral zone infraction on Jesuits. So five yards, three five yards for Treasure Coast. So they will have a first and five at the Jesuit 43. As the Titans on a nice drive here. So it's Palmero with Brown next to him. Two wideouts right. Incomplete pass. Second down and five. So Palmero in the shotgun. Some movement behind the line here. And Treasure Coast wants to talk about it. There was some confusion on that play. Had a uh, few backs. Uh, running in different directions. So one thing we want to talk about, we'll probably do this after the uh, after the first quarter, are the new FHSAA classifications. Gone are class 1A through 8A. It's totally different. A little bit convoluted. But uh, we will make our best efforts here to uh, clarify all of this. And we'll do that after the first. We may even try to do it at the, at the water break. So second and five. Still some confusion.
Treasure Coast getting set up. And it's an end around play. And they're going to mark that back at the 47. Runner's knee hit the ground. They tried a, really more of a sweep type play out of this offensive formation. So this offense has a bit of a wing T look, has a bit of an option look. This is really kind of the offense that you see the military academies run with the run first offense third down and seven and well short of the first down that time that is Brown Bolton Robertson on the tackle. So it's fourth and five for Treasure Coast. And they keep the offense out in the field. Fourth and five. Long five, too. And well shy of the first down. I think the initial contact there was Drew Wood as number four. So Wood as with the initial hit, he's got offers from Oklahoma already and other places. The junior and Jesuit takes over on downs at their own 42 yard line. Good defensive stand by Jesuit. Titans attempted one pass there that was incomplete, but they were content to keep it on the ground. It looks like that's their uh, that's their offensive mode. So we'll see what Jesuit can do here. 618 left in the first no score tiger ball. Looks like the rain is dying down a little bit, but it is still raining outside. So Givens is to the right. Joe Smith next to Luke Knight in the shotgun. So Joe Smith. And he's stacked up at the line. So not much for Joe Smith yet. Treasure Coast really keying on him so far. I mean, they know what's coming. Second and ten. But all Joe Smith needs is a little hole. And here's the fly sweep. That's Bowie, and he's going to be tackled for a loss. Flag in the play. Tigers tried that fly sweep with Jarrett Bowie. It's a pretty good Treasure Coast defense holding Jesuit. And they're going to mark this from the spot of the infraction, which looks like it was about a yard behind the line of scrimmage. And Treasure Coast coach says, no, we're declining the penalty. So they're going to force a third down and 11. So third down and 11, closer to 12 for Jesuit, Knight shotgun, two wideouts left, man in motion, Knight, they, nope, Knight rolls right, Knight getting pressure, Knight throws it, it's caught, 50 first down, Jared Bowie. Knight with a little bootleg action there, rolled right. Had Bowie cutting across, got him in the flat. Well executed play, first down Jesuit into Treasure Coast territory at the 45 yard line. A little bit of misdirection there, and it worked for the Tigers. 
450 left in the first. No score. First and 10. Jesuit. Big play on third down. Trips left for the Tigers. Here's Joe Smith. He's going to pick up about three yards on that play. Running behind the big interior of that Tiger line. Caden Fluker is the uh, right tackle. It's Gavin Blanchard next to him. Man in motion. Joe Smith. Smith following his blockers. Might have got a yard. Kale Schwedo is the center. Evan Roardham is the left tackle, and Wesley Shaw playing left guard this year. Third and six for Jesuit at the Treasure Coast 41. Empty set, Knight. Steps up in the pocket. Knight. Pass. Caught. First down, Tigers. Jared Bowie in his office, right in the middle. And Knight knew where he was. He was close to being beyond the line of scrimmage, but uh, stopped. Hit Jared Bowie with a nice pass. Good job, Knight, stepping up in the pocket that time as well. So another big third down conversion for Judge with two consecutive series. First and ten Tigers at the Treasure Coast 30. Givens goes wide right. That's Bryson Goodwin wide left. Willie really Suarez slot left. Suarez. Knight fakes. Knight. Pass is broken up. Intended for Goodwin. And broken up by, yeah, still can't even tell that number was the corner. Might be a five there. I'm going to take a wild shot at that. Gabe Aven. It looks like a five. So second and ten. Two twenty-one left in the first. No score. Tigers driving. Knight shotgun. Knight Joe Smith. Smith thirty. Smith. Nice run, Joe Smith. That's his best run of the evening. Gets five yards down to the twenty-five yard line. Another third down for the Tigers. Givens wide right. Goodwin Bowie to the left along with Willie Suarez. Knight shotgun. Smith to his right. Joe Smith. Nope, Knight has it. Knight, pass, caught. Suarez, 10, 5. He's out of bounds. Suarez lined up. He was the inside receiver among the trips right cut across the field. Nice fake by Knight. I think the Titans were thinking Joe Smith all the way there, but nice fake and rollout by Luke Knight. Here's Joe Smith. Smith 5 inside the 5 to the 4. Second and goal. Actually 2 the 5, so... Uh, So the original line of scrimmage was the six. Gain of one to the five. Second and goal. 
Approaching one minute left here in the first. Nice drive by Jesuit. And yet another third down conversion. Three on this drive. Under a minute left in the first. Tigers fed some success with the rollout here. Smith cuts inside. Smith going to the end zone just short. I mean, Smith is uh, inside the one. Troy Bowles is in the game for blocking purposes here. This looks like it's inside the one-yard line. Fourth, third down conversion attempt on this drive. Bowles lining up at a tight end position. Tight end right. Shotgun. Man in motion. Knight. Score! Knight on the keeper. That actually might have been a busted play. The snap was a little bit high. But the Knight had the wherewithal just to keep it himself on a draw. And Jesuit strikes first. Now here's Jack Ferrari with Will Griffin holding in the wet ball. Kick is up. Kick is good. Jesuit striking first. 12.4 seconds left in the first 7-0 Tigers. How about that? Four third down conversions on that drive for Jesuit. And that's a confidence builder for the offense. Still raining, but uh, no lightning. That's what counts. Ferrari to kick it deep. Here's Jack Ferrari. Good kick by Ferrari. Inside the five. Right up the middle. Nice return here. Still going to the 43-yard line. And I think that was Creighton Kuntz on the tackle. That was a nice return by... Treasure Coast with 2.8 seconds left now in the first. It's a good field position here for the Titans. Quarterback keeper. Oh, big run. 30. 20. This is going to be a touchdown, I think. Hard to tell where we're at here. Um, that was a score. Touchdown on a run. That would have been the quarterback. Or they're saying Brown. So, Monte Brown with the score. Um, the camera, just so the, the viewers know here, the camera, we had to set up inside because of the rain. And because of the setup, we're unable to get the corner of the end zone where the score was, the near corners. The camera uh, will not turn that far. And a lot of umbrellas out there, so uh, a little bit of a challenge on the corners here. But that's a long run and a score for... Treasure Coast on the last play of the first. So it's 7-7 after one on that long touchdown run by the Titans. So we're going to talk here quickly about the new FHSAA classification. There's no more 1A to 8A. 
There are four classes, one through four. It's met and uh, it's four categories, I should say: metro, suburban, rural, and independent. And within metro and suburban, there are four different regions and districts within the region. So Jesuit is class three metro, region two, district five along with Gaither, Hillsboro, and Lato, three future opponents of the Tigers. So the other schools in Region 2 are Bloomingdale, Eastlake, Leonard, Spoto, Countryside, Largo, who we saw in preseason, Seminole, Osceola, Seminole, Hollins, Northeast, Pinellas Park, and St. Pete High. So four teams will go to the playoffs out of that particular region. But uh, this Region 3 Metro, you look statewide, Aquinas is in that region. Tampa Bay Tech is in 3 Metro. Tampa Bay Tech is. Those are the number 1 and number 3 ranked schools. Here's Andre Gilbert at the 5, 10. He cuts left, 20. Gilbert with some room. Gilbert, 30. Nice run back. Andre Gilbert to the 35-yard line. So the Tigers with decent field position. So uh, it's confusing. My best advice for uh, those of you that want to try to figure this out is just go to the FHSA website. Um get a little bit better understanding of it. It was so much easier the other way, but FHSAA, their infinite wisdom, changing some things around. So there you have it. So Jesuits, Class 3, Metro, Region 5, Region 2, District 5. Tiger Ball, now Knight under center. It's Joe Smith. Nice run, Joe Smith. He got five on first down. Tiger's going to the I formation. They put uh, Pazanski in the backfield to block and had Bowles in there as well. Boy, Peter Pazanski, if I'm a defensive player, that's the last guy I want to see coming right at you blocking. Gain of six for Joe Smith. A little effective play there. Tigers with a second and four. Here is the second quarter begins. Nice shotgun. Fake. Quick pass. Suarez. Suarez still on his feet. And let's see, it's a matter of where they give him forward progress to. So they're going to give him a gain of two on that play for forward progress. It's third down again. It's a little quick pass to Suarez off of the fake. Pizanski coming back in. Pazanski lining up at an end position here, tight end position. Now he steps back. Now he goes to fullback. And Knight with a keeper. Knight, pass caught. First down. Spin. Bowie, 50, 40. Bowie down the sideline at a 30-yard line. Another third down conversion. Tigers faking that I formation, little bootleg action that time from Knight. Did a good job hiding the ball coming out of the backfield. And a dart to Bowie, who's down to the 30 yard line. First and 10, Jesuit, 947 left in the second. We're tied at seven. Trips left. Pistol formation this time with Joe Smith behind Knight. Joe Smith. Smith cuts inside. Not a lot of room for Joe Smith tonight. So far, at least. A few more passes like that are going to open things up for the senior. Coming off of that 180 five-yard game against Wharton. 
Had some big runs. They gave him one second and nine. It's Goodwin Bowie to the left. Suarez is in a slot. Givens wide right. Knight back to pass. Knight stepping up in the pocket. Knight running. Knight picks up about four yards and guess what? Third down. We've seen this before. And they're going to give him three. It's going to be third and six Jesuit. The Treasure Coast 26. I think our squeegee man, Colin. Appreciate it. So hopefully this rain will stop so we don't need to squeegee anymore. Ian Wilson comes in, 21. So Tiger's going with the uh, two backs. And Knight calls timeout. So Knight calls time on third and six. Come out again with Wilson, the sophomore. 5'7", 170 pounds. Similar build to Joe Smith, a power runner. And you have the backs to either side of Luke Knight. Knight might be calling an audible here, we'll see. And third and six. Knight rolls, counterplay. Wilson dives, he got the first. Tigers money on third down. To the 20 yard line. It shows the Tigers have faith in their running game going to the backup Wilson. He is a solid, solid backup. First and 10. Suarez in motion. Smith. Not much. Smith might have lost a yard. He did. You just get the feeling at some point here, Joe Smith is going to break one. Those of you that got to watch Barry Sanders play back in the day for uh, Detroit... I mean, he would get squashed for negative yardage and all of a sudden he'd break a 70-yarder. Trips left. Nice shotgun. Joe Smith to his left. Knight back to pass. Knight, pass, caught! It's Bryson Goodwin. It's going to be short of the first down, third down again. Luke Knight throwing with confidence this evening. It's going to be third and two at the 12. Good one, just finding the seam in the zone there. Good one goes wide left. Peter Pazanski's in. Man in motion. Smith. Smith has the first. Smith. Score! Touchdown, Tigers. 12-yard run, Joe Smith. That was a side that uh, Peter Pazanski lined up on. Smith broke a couple of tackles. And Jesuit retakes the lead. 5.58 left in the second. 13-7 Tigers. 
Ferrari on for the extra point. Kick is good. Julian Alonzo, the long snapper this year. Will Griffin, the freshman holder. 14-7 Jesuit. And a touchdown on, you guessed it, third down. Goes to the squeegee man, I say. He's doing well. Ferrari to kick it off. Now, there was a good run back last time, and I'm curious to see if uh, Jesuit's going to pooch this one. Ferrari's at an angle here, so uh, let's see what the Tigers do. Yep, he kicks it deep from the six-yard line. And not that time. The initial contact that was... Twenty-two. It's Luke Arena. So Luke Arena making the initial contact on that. Arena with a fine game last week at uh, at Wharton. Called his name a lot. So first and ten. Treasure Coast at their own twenty-two yard line. Five fifty left in the second. Fourteen to seven. Jesuit. And a run near the first down. I think that was a direct snap to seven. Brown. So a gain of nine. Another running formation. They go right that time, and it's a first down. Hard to stop that. So first down run. That looked like a 41 that carried it, and that would be one Joshua... Lance of Fort, but hard to tell. Oh, this is going to be a loss on this play. I think Pazanski was in on that, and that's a loss of about six yards. teams that run this formation try to do just a little end around play. It's one of the common points of this offense. But a bunch formation here. Boy, Tigers have to up. That's going to be a penalty too. Defensively, Jesuit just has to be really disciplined on this. And I think really two of the most important guys are your safeties here. Because if the safeties bite on the on the on a fake, and you have one of these backs just streaking downfield, it is just a quick pass and the easy pickings. So there's gotta be discipline here. And this is the Jesuit just gave that five yards back, I think. They did. 
inside was uh, one of the inside linemen jumped. So uh, second and twenty goes to second and fifteen. Clock running, 3.40 left in the first half, 14-7 Jesuit. Oh, it's a fumble snap. And Treasure Coast recovers, but they're going to have a third down and a mile here. Kevin Boys comes out, 55. Third down and looks like 20 or 21 to go. And they run it. And a short gain on that play. And Drew Wood as in on the tackle. So Treasure Coast with a fourth and very long. This is going to be a punt. I get the impression, I've seen the quarter, the quarterbacks throw one pass tonight. Definitely get the impression that uh, the Treasure Coast Titans do not have an overwhelming amount of confidence in their passing game. This is Thurman D. No, it's S.J. Green. Nice kick. So Green lets it roll inside the 20. So Jesuit, with one timeout remaining... have the ball at their own 19. Nice shotgun. Two white odds to each side. Suarez cuts across. Knight back to pass. Knight looking downfield. Oh, what a catch! Bowie stretching out for that one. And he has a first. Total extension that time by Jared Bowie. To the 31 yard line. Suarez in motion. Knight. Downfield, nope, not downfield, short, buoy, bobbled it. Clock running, short game. Gain of three. I think they did not give him forward progress that time because he bobbled it initially when he got control of the ball. He had gone a little bit backwards. Andre Gilbert in the game number one. This will be interesting. Let's see if they look for him. Knight, back to pass. Knight, Knight, getting good protection. Knight rolls left. Knight, pass is caught. Shy of the first. Nice comeback by Suarez. And Jesuit calls their last time out. Good protection that time for Luke Knight. And a good job by Willie Suarez. He broke off his route. Cut back. And has a nice gain. And Jesuit facing a third and one at their own 40-yard line. 37.6 left in the second. Remember, no timeouts left for Jesuit. Two left for Treasure Coast. I think initially Knight might have been looking for Andre Gilbert, but he was well covered. But uh, 
Suarez did what a receiver's supposed to do, got himself open, looked, saw his quarterback was in trouble, came back to the ball. Good job, Willie Suarez. So empty set for Knight. Trips right. Tigers intent on passing it here. Knight rolls right. Getting some protection. Rolls right again. Pass downfield is broken up. They were looking for Bowie. Excuse me, Givens, seven. Pass was broken up. It's fourth down in a yard. Joe Smith says, let's go for it, coach. 29.9. Joe Smith wants to go for this one. Tigers are going to punt it away. Pass might have been just a little tiny bit behind Gary Givens that time. But it was well defended. Knight to punt. High snap control nicely. High kick by Knight. Good kick by Knight. And it's down by Andre Gilbert at the 22-yard line with 21.2 seconds left here in the first half. One thing Jezra does not want to do here is give up the big play. Andre Gilbert playing more of a safety position here. And they're going to take a knee and just get out of get out of dodge here. So that is going to be the end of the first half. And the Treasure Coast Titans not wanting to risk anything, take a knee. And Jesuit leads at halftime in a hard-hitting game. It's 14-7. to And thanks to all who have tuned in this evening. We do very much appreciate your support. Thanks for watching us on the Facebook live stream. And... Uh, We'll take a little break back in a bit. It's Jesuit 14, Treasure Coast 7. You're watching Jesuit High School Football Facebook live stream.
All right, John Pedrero back here at Jesuit. 14-7 Tigers as we approach the end of halftime here. Really, I think the story of this first half was Jesuit's ability to convert on third down. Six out of six, if I'm not mistaken. That's entirely unofficial. But, uh, I mean, that was critical. I mean, some critical situations. Big plays by Luke Knight. Even had a nice run on the counter play to Ian Wilson. Knight looking sharp tonight. And maybe, just maybe, this rain is dying down a little bit. Treasure Coast to receive. Treasure Coast has not completed a pass. It's uh, been a total focus on the ground game. The one pass they completed was overthrow. So here's Ferrari. Low line drive kick this time to the 15 yard line. And a tackle at the 30. That was Ian Wilson on the tackle. Again, these uh, Treasure Coast numbers nearly impossible to read here. I'll tell you the quarterback's one, I think, David Palmero. Again, a running formation. Low snap. And a gain of about five yards on that play. Look like zero on that tackle. That was Houston Weathers. The run looked like seven. Amante Brown will go under that assumption. Second and five. So Treasure Coast is basically saying, We're going to run it, try to stop us. And the direct snap up. That was a uh, quick tackle. Is that Nick Quinn 99 in there? Let's see. Andre Morris in on that tackle. It was 96, and Andre Morris, after a gain of one. So the down linemen right now are Morris, Pazanski, Thirty-three lining up as a down lineman. That's uh, the Tigers. Oh, that stop for a loss. Tried a little end around play that time, and that was number 30 on the tackle. Holton Roberts, he snuffed that out quickly. It's great to have Andre Morris back. He is a force. He's already got a couple of college offers. He is a big body in the middle. S.J. Green back at the 30. Good snap. Good kick here. Green gets away from it. Down to the 20-yard line. It's a Jesuit forcing a three and out. That was Luke Arena, 33, lining up as an end of that time. I just have a whole group of pretty solid linebackers. Sometimes they'll lined up at a linebacker position, sometimes at an end position. So Jez are trying to put some points on the board here early in the third. They're up by a touchdown, a little stack for not quite a stack formation here between uh, Suarez and Bowie. 
Joe Smith. Smith inside. Not much for Joe. Two-yard gain. We're going to give him one, second and one. And refs are stopping play. There may be a clock situation going on here, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. They're resetting the clock. So second and nine, Jesuit. Andre Gilbert in the game. He is uh, inside to the left with Goodwin. Gilbert in motion. Gilbert on the fly sweep. Gilbert around the right end is going to get a short gain. So that was a uh, set piece there for Andre Gilbert on the end around. He's going to gain about three, and Jesuit's going to face a third and six. So Gilbert comes out. Suarez comes in. Early in the third, 8.37 left in the third. Knight and Joe Smith conversing in the backfield. Shotgun. And in motion, Knight, end around, Suarez, 30, 35, first down, Tigers with a little trickeration there, kind of a double fake move, oh, and there's a flag late, flag after the play, Suarez with the first, This is dead ball, unsportsmanlike, on Treasure Coast. So Jedra's going to get 15 more yards added on to the end of this run. So uh, someone said something. And Jesuits at in, uh, in Treasure Coast territory after that penalty. Fake inside, then a second fake, and then they gave it on the end around to Suarez. We kind of had to delay that a little bit, but then he had open field to the left, and he has got speed to burn. Got a nice gain on that play. Good play called Don Misek that time. Bowie in motion. Knight back to pass. Knight good protection. Knight runs it to the left. Knight is going to have a short gain on that play. Knight doing a good job of basically taking what is given to him. Not forcing it. Actually, loss of a yard there, but uh, Tiger receivers well defended that time. Second and 11, so uh, statistically that will go down as a, uh, like a sack to the nearest person. So second and 11. And yes, that was another third down conversion that time when that Suarez end around. Knight, back to pass. Knight's going to get sacked this time by number 99. We saw that number right in front of us. That's Jahari Grant, the junior lineman. And that is a loss of five. So Jesuit facing a third and 16. And uh, 
making this third down is going to be a challenge. Getting good coverage downfield by Treasure Coast. It looks like they've uh, gone into a little bit of a nickel look here. Right back to pass. Knight looking deep downfield to Goodwin. And that was well defended. Tigers, there were, it was a one on one coverage that time by, I think that's 11 for Treasure Coast. And we don't have an 11. No, it was 21. 21, that's Shamir Sterling, 21. He's a junior on that coverage. But uh, give credit where credit is due. That was good defense. Good pass by Knight. It really is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Go up and get it. And uh, knocked out of Goodwin's hands. Good snap to Knight. Knight. Nice high kick by Knight. It's going to hit. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to roll dead inside the five. What a kick by Knight. That is a 51-yard kick by Knight, and it's down inside the five. How about that? High spiraling kick. And uh, the Treasure Coast punt returner let it go. I think he thought it was going to go in the end zone. And just kind of died on the wet field and was downed inside the five. So the Titans deep in their own territory here. 721 left in the third. 14-7 Jesuit. Quarterback keeper. And a nice run that time. That is for George Roberts. So I think we've been saying one, but the quarterback, uh, we saw that time. We got the number pretty clear, four. So George Roberts, the quarterback, he gained nine on that play, so second and one. That was a straight keeper. And that is going to be a loss on second down. Woodaz was in there. I think Andre Morris was too. And Monty Brown on the carry. He lost a yard, so third down. Third and two for Treasure Coast at their own 13. Inside run. And it's going to be enough for a first. That was Roberts, I think, on the keeper. Let's see. Yep, Roberts kept at the quarterback. He needed two, and he got five. So first and ten. And this is either a water break or someone called timeout. I think it's a water break. So Jesuit next week has to uh, make the long road trip down to Miami to play Miami Columbus they were 8A last year they're four, class 4 this year Catholic school run by the uh, Marist fathers down in Miami Solid basketball program. Columbus is good in pretty much everything, really, when you look at their history. They won state in basketball last year. Roberts, inside handoff, and a gain of about three or four yards. Call it four. 
Brown again and Monte Brown. Holton Roberts and others in there. So Andre Morris has moved to an end. And this one's not going very far. So the Tigers going with more of a four down lineman look. Morris is in there. Boys is in there. I think Andre Gilbert and others in on that tackle. It's going to be a third down, so I want to take a look and see what the Tigers are doing on the defensive front here. So Boys is in 55. Pazanski, of course. So they've shifted Morris to an end position. Arena's lining up on the on the line. Third and a long two. Roberts handoff. And they're going to give him forward progress to the first down. So Treasure Coast starting back at their own floor, just at their own floor, just kind of a methodically plodding down the field here. Fumble. And it's going to be a loss. Treasure Coast recovers it. And that's going to be a loss back to the 25, so it's going to be second and 13. And they're moving. Gilbert's playing a safety position with Bulls. Direct snap. And Andre Gilbert on the tackle. After a gain for a first down. Definitely a strategic move here by Jesuit. Gilbert, not the biggest guy. So they've moved Woodaz in closer to the line. And Gilbert at his safety is at a corner position now. And Gilbert was the first one there again. Gilbert on that tackle. Gilbert got there first. So two consecutive tackles by Gilbert. So second and seven. Treasure Coast with their own 45, 235 left in the third. Fast moving third. Second and seven for the Titans. Shotgun formation this time. And it's a handoff, and that's not going to go very far at all. Loss, I think, in the play. Let's see who gets up. Last there. Pazanski was in on that, as was Holton Roberts, said his name tonight. Holton Roberts having a pretty good season for Jesuit. Third and seven, Treasure Coast. At their own 45, lost a yard in that play. Pitch back. And that's going to be a first down. Bulls on the tackle. On the run by... George Roberts. Roberts going or kept it himself going around right in. He had a convoy in front of him too. Bowles has been pretty quiet tonight. That safety position. Especially with this running game. And they march on. Gain of five. It's a 
scrum going down the field. Just a pack of players, and the ball carries in there somewhere. Not the most uh, exciting offense, but it's effective and time-consuming. And wears down the defense. Pitch back. That's Roberts, who goes around in 30, 20, down the sideline to the 10-yard line. So the Jesuit defense has to be getting a little bit weary here down to the 12-yard line. So that was Roberts, four. It's a direct snap to a different back. I mean, this is something they've employed. They've done direct snaps to different backs. So you don't particularly know what's coming. It's down to the eight that time. And that's going to be the last play of the third. I think the Tigers are glad to get out of this one. So 14 to seven, a rapidly played uh, third. A lot of runs, and it's second and five. Treasure Coast can uh, get a first down without getting a touchdown, and this Tiger defense has to be a little bit gassed right now after all these runs. This is what Treasure Coast used to get to the state finals last year in uh, Class 8A. I mean, their last season, their only two losses were against Coco, which is always a tough team. They're a lower division. I think they're well. They were they were three or four A last year. Remember, Coco went out west to play uh, Bishop Gorman one year. I mean, that's a good program. And Coco beat them 56 to 55, and then they lost in the state finals to Apopka 21 to nothing. The Apopka Blue Darters, one of the uh, better nicknames in uh, high school sports. School where uh, Warren Sapp attended. Second and five for Treasure Coast. It's Roberts on the direct snap. Cuts inside. Roberts. Score. Nope. Down to one. Did not get in. So it's third and goal to one. And Jezra calls timeout. Jesuits got to find some kind of way to get Troy Bowles more involved in this game. Maybe move him back up to his uh, regular linebacker spot, but uh, Bowles at safety, I don't know if that's particularly helping the Tigers this evening. Just my opinion. And you've got a four-star linebacker there back at safety against a running team. I mean, he needs to... Uh, I would tend to think maybe they're... Trying to strategize getting him maybe closer to the line or something.
Actually, that was a first down, so it's first and goal. Direct snap. That time they were in touchdown Treasure Coast. So Treasure Coast with the uh, really kept the ball the majority of the third. And uh, they are leaving the offense out here. They are going for two. So Treasure Coast is going for two. Gutsy call, but their running games have been effective. Shift by the offensive line. Oh, it's fumbled. They went for two, and it was botched. It was botched. And Luke Arena recovers it. I think Treasure Coast tried to get a little bit too cute on that play. And uh, did not develop at all. And the snap was high and fumbled. And Jesuit leads 14-13. to 13. Big play right there. This is the kind of game where something on special teams can make a difference. Tigers have to be careful here on special teams. Last thing Jesuit wants here is to uh, lose an onside kick and have the defense, who is tired, go right back out. Let's see what they're going to do. I hope they kick it off. It's going to be short. This is Thurman at the 12, 20, 25, out of bounds. So Thurman cut to the short side of the field. And he is tackled at the 30-yard line. So Jesuit uh, has got to get some first downs here. This defense has to rest a little bit. Tigers up by one. 11.41 left in the fourth. Knight shotgun Smith next him. Two wide outs on each side. Man in motion. Knight back to pass. Knight rolls right. Knight rolls right. Knight throws that out of bounds. Incomplete. Uh, Gary Givens was the closest Tiger there. Second and ten. Treasure Coast has done a good job of stopping Joe Smith tonight. Oh, they're telling Knight he's got to come out. Knight must have a cut or something on his hand. Oh, boy, what a situation for Will Griffin. Wow. Wow. The freshman transfer from Northside Christian in the game. Didn't even get a chance to warm up. And they're going to let him throw the ball up and see if he's going to run it. Nope. Oh, Griffin with a completed pass. Griffin to Goodwin first down. How about that? Will Griffin comes in and zips one to Bryson Goodwin. Who breaks a tackle and it's a first down. And he stays in the game. Well, this shows the confidence they have in Will Griffin. Cold off the bench with the th throwing it with the completion. Wow. Trips right. Griffin, shotgun. 
Griffin keeps it himself. Griffin up the middle is going to get a yard of the play, and he's tackled. And here comes Knight. So uh, good job, Will Griffin, in your uh, short stay. Gain a one on that play. That was a called quarterback keeper. Second and nine at midfield. Knight rolls right. Knight caught. Givens. Givens is just going to be shy of the first. It's going to be third and one. Third and two. Gabe Themar comes in the game to block. Smith next to Luke Knight. Joe Smith. Smith. Well, he may be short. Joe Smith may be shy of the first. It depends upon the spot. <laughs> He got tripped up. He is short of the first. Or was that 21 that carried it? That might have been 21. That might have been Wilson. Smith can't. Saw Smith come in out of the from the bench, so I think that was Wilson, so my apologies. Fourth down, Smith, that was Smith, and that time he got the first. So Smith got the first that time. The Tigers needed that one. So Jesuit at the Treasure Coast 39. Troy Bowles is in the game. Suarez wide left, Givens wide right. It's Kazansky in motion. Joe Smith, 30. Smith, nice run, Joe Smith. Went to the side that they shifted Peter Pazansky to. And Smith with a nice first down run. He gained six. Gabe Themar comes back in. 8.32 left in the fourth. 14.13 Jesuit. Suarez out. Bowie in. So it's Goodwin and Bowie wide left. Givens wide right. Shotgun. Smith next to Luke Knight. Smith cuts inside. I think he's going to be just shy of the first. It's going to be third and one. Themar comes in. Third and two. Surveying the field. Joe Smith. It's going to be short. It's going to be fourth down. Wow. And uh, this is definitely out of field goal. You're kind of in no man's land here. You really have to go for it here. Too long of a field goal. It's fourth and about a yard and a half. Quite possibly the biggest play of this game right now. We'll see if Knight rolls out. He's had some success.
I think the Tigers are just going to wait to call a timeout, and they do. Yeah, Jezra calls timeout. Jezra calls timeout. 6.36 left in the fourth on a uh, on a play of epic proportions right here. Fourth and a yard and a half. Tigers at the Treasure Coast. They're just shy of the 30. So in a similar situation against Wharton, saw them uh, fake the jet sweep. We shall see. They're lining up in a running formation here. Pizanski's in the game. Bowie goes out wide right. It's Joe Smith. Oh, I don't think he made it. Nope, he did not. Joe Smith is short of the first. Try to counter type play with Joe Smith, and uh, they were going to Wesley Shaw's side, and he really had no gain at all on that play. So it's up to the Jesuit defense here. Boy, 6.32 left in the fourth. Tigers up by one, and this ground game of Treasure Coast just chewed up clock last time. And it's going to be a flag. And it's off. It's neutral zone infraction on Jesuit. Andre Morris got a little bit antsy there. And it's a water break. A lot of uh, angst in the uh, tiger, uh, tiger bleachers right now. Someone on this Tiger defense has to step up and make a big play. First and five, Treasure Coast at their own 36. Morris jumped again. And that is going to be first and ten. So uh, 10 free yards that time for Treasure Coast. And it's Roberts and Bulls on the tackle, but not after a good run, about six yards. They run that sweet play. They have got pulling linemen. They've got running backs and in front blocking. I mean, that is a that is a convoy going around the end, and that will wear on you. Second and four. Same shift. Direct snap, and this is going to be, I think, a false start in the offense. It is false start that time. So, uh, it's going to be second and nine. And you really have not seen a lot of those. It might be the first one on Treasure Coast. I mean, they, I mean, they've been disciplined on offense.
Roberts again. Missed tackle on the backfield. Roberts. Troy Bowles comes up and puts the finishing touch. Holton Roberts in there too, but uh, Bowles converged quickly from his safety position. And this is a big third down, and I think every, everything is four down territory right now for Treasure Coast. It's third and eight. And that was a big play by your uh, four star. Now safety, Troy Bowles, Georgia bound. Okay, this may be the biggest play of the game for the Tiger defense here. We've said that a couple of times. Direct snap, fumble! Oh, it's a Tiger ball! Tiger ball! Tiger ball! Pazinski falls on it! Pazinski recovers a fumble! Tiger ball! Pazanski in the backfield quickly. It was a botched handoff. They might have seen Pazanski coming that time. And he falls on it. Another big play for Pazanski. And he heads right back out there. Four forty one left in the fourth. Knight under center this time. Smith. Soul back. Nope. They go in an eye formation. Pazanski in front of him. Joe Smith. Smith. Nice run, Smith. Smith. Picks up about eight. That eye formation run with Pazanski at fullback has been. They gave him six. His knee must have gone down. That I formation run with Pazanski at fullback really has been their most effective running play. Knights had a couple of good scrambles, but uh, Pazanski blocking for Joe Smith has uh, been effective. Four minutes exactly left in the fourth. Second and four Jesuit. Tigers need to hurry here. Tigers need. They may have to call timeout. Tigers may need to have to call timeout. One, he needs to hurry. And it's Joe Smith, first down. Tigers might have got away with one there. Pizanski might have uh, got out of his stance a little bit quick there, but the refs didn't go up. They did call it. They called it. Yeah, Pizanski got out of his stance a little bit quickly there. And uh, the refs caught it. So second and nine. Two wideouts left. Clock running. 320. And Joe Smith. Smith cut the left. Smith has open field. Smith... Has a first down. It's his longest run of the game. It's going to be 13 yards for Joe Smith to the Wesley Shaw side of the line. The It's the Evan Ward and Wesley Shaw side of the line. And uh, that was the big run that uh, Joe Smith's been wanting. On second and nine, gets it down to the 25-yard line. It's first and ten Jesuit, under three minutes now, left in the fourth. Night shotgun. Joe Smith. Smith inside. Smith, another nice run. So Smith getting his groove on a little bit late here, but uh, nonetheless. Gain of about six yards for Joe. I think that's the uh, going to be the Tigers' mode here. Ground it and pound it right now. Timeout, Treasure Coast. They need they needed to do that to uh, kill some clock. Two twelve left in the fourth. Jesuit second and four inside the Treasure Coast twenty.
So next week's game at Miami Columbus that will not be a broadcast game, will not be a live stream game, I should say. NFHS is um, will be doing the broadcast, and hopefully uh, they'll have real human broadcasters, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to show the score on the screen. But uh, I will not be able to make the trek down to Miami this coming Friday. But then we'll be back. It's Armwood, and uh, hope to do that game on the road. I think that's a game a lot of people have been waiting a long time to see, Jesuit and Armwood. But one game at a time in this very tough schedule that the Jesuit Tigers have. Knight shotgun, Smith next to him. Two wide dots to the short side. Joe Smith, short gain. And it's going to be the second timeout called by the Titans. So they have one timeout remaining. It's third down and four for Jesuit. Tigers have one timeout remaining. As we here have cracked the 11 p.m. mark here. A little late night football. Again, thanks to those who are viewing this evening. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for staying with us through a uh, rain delay. It lasted about an hour and 45 minutes, so I should say a th lightning thunder delay. The rain has stopped, thankfully. So third and four for Jesuit. They're going back to that I formation with Pazanski blocking for Joe Smith. Knight fakes it. Knight rolls right. Knight passes. Caught. Bowie. And it's going to depend on the spot. Clock is running. It's going to depend on the spot here. And he got the first. Gutsy call, but uh, the Tigers are confident in Knight's ability to roll out. Again, a little bit of a bootleg action there by Luke Knight. Rolls to his right, his strong side. And uh, you've got a big, strong receiver like Jarrett Bowie. That's the guy you want to go for. Shotgun again here. 118 left in the fourth. First and ten Jesuit. Joe Smith. Smith inside. Smith breaks a tackle. Smith with a uh, nice little run, keeping the legs going down to the seven-yard line. Even three yards on that play. Under a minute. Tigers up by one. And they're going to milk this clock as much as they possibly can here. They're going in the victory formation. I think, or maybe not. Let's see. Yep, Knight takes a knee. And that's it. That is it. On that first down play, Treasure Coast said, uh, we're done. And uh, a tight one here at Jesuit. A little too tight. Treasure Coast went for it, went for two. After uh, a time-consuming drive in the third, basically took the whole quarter... And uh, got a little cute on the two-point conversion and uh, botched it. And uh, ultimately, fumble recovery. 
by Peter Pizanski stopped the last drive of Treasure Coast, and it was a uh, first down completion to Jared Bowie that iced it. And the Jesuit Tigers against a very physical Treasure Coast team. The Tigers prevail 14-13 here at home. So, so thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks to all of our viewers. Again, next week's game at Columbus will be on NFH, NFHS Network. Uh, we will we'll check Twitter, check the Jesuit Twitter page uh, for broadcast information on the Armwood game. So once again, 14-13, Jesuit goes to 2-0. and I am John Pedrero from the class of 1981, and you have been watching Jesuit Tiger football on the Facebook live stream. Have a great evening, everyone.